Hey everyone, it's John with Seattle Coffee Gear. I'm here with a crew review of a new grinder from Rocket. It is the Super Fausto, which comes in above the Fausto Touch, which is above the Faustino. So this is at the top of the line for Rocket's grinders. This is kind of a unique product for them because it is CSA sanitation certified, which means it meets the NSF standards to be used in a commercial setting. So if you're here in the US and you need a grinder to pass a health inspection, this will pass. Uh, we'll talk about some of the pros and cons, why you might want it for commercial, why not, uh, and then talk about some of the performance. So let's go ahead and jump in. This grinder has 75 millimeter burrs. This one comes standard with the red speed burrs. So that's a pretty sizable upgrade you don't have to spend money on. Once you factor that into the cost of the grinder, it starts to make a little bit more reasonable sense, but you're still definitely paying for the rocket aesthetic when you look at a grinder like this. You can see the current price of it if you click the link in the video description, which will take you to the product page on our website. You can check out the price there. The motor on this, according to the manual, it's a 250 watt motor. It does say it consumes more amps than I would expect, so I was talking with the text and we were thinking there might be a larger capacitor inside of it that's storing up extra power or something else going on because a 250 watt motor with those 75 millimeter burrs compared to the Fausto and the Fausto Touch, it seems like there's something else going on power wise. So we're thinking there might be a larger capacitor than those other grinders. Grind speed wise, we're looking at about 3.5 to four seconds for a 19 to 20 gram shot. Um, kind of like a big double. That's a lot of what we pull here at Seattle Coffee Gear, what I do at home. So pretty fast, um, not as fast as the Olympus or Atom 75 for Eureka, and definitely not close to the Helios 80 from Eureka, but definitely a good option if you're looking for a higher end grinder at home to match your Rocket Espresso machine. Height wise, it is a little bit taller than the Fausto Touch. So if you're worried about it fitting under your cabinets, make sure to double check the height of your cabinets before you look at this, because uh, I don't think this would fit under my cabinets at home. I've used an Atom 60, the original Atom, which is the same height as a 65 and 75, and that barely fits under my cabinets. So this would be definitely too tall for my cabinets at home. But price-wise, this is probably going to go next to a really nice espresso machine, which is going to be more of the focal point of your house or your kitchen. And so odds are, if you're looking at a grinder like this, you're going to have a bit more headspace above it, but definitely something to consider. It does have the same touch interface as the Fausto touch, which we did a video on. So let me see if I can lean it forward here so you can see what I'm talking about. Got the hopper falling off. So the interface for this is very similar to the Fausto Touch. Uh, it starts with just the Rocket logo that you then click through to get to your main menu there. And you have three dose options as well as a manual button. And you can adjust the time of those uh, by five hundredths of a second at a time. And you just click those buttons again to get the grinder started. And then coming up here, we have kind of our sub menu. So you have your shot counters. And then as you scroll, you have your brightness, you have some color options. Uh, the screen is actually pretty responsive and easy to use. I'm at an angle here, so it is a little odd. Uh, and then obviously factory reset, firmware, your counters, and then you can click your little exit button to get out of there. So that covers the interface. I just have it set on the white color right now. The copper was messing with my eyes a little bit. It wasn't so good on camera. So we just stuck with the white for now. But let's actually grind some coffee with this and see what we're looking at noise wise. Cool. So again, I have the double highlighted. And I would not advise using this as a hands-free grinder, but uh, that is 20 grams in 3.55 seconds. So that's pretty spot on. Let's do another just to see how we are with consistency. Definitely lost some grounds off the side there. 
uh, 21 grams, and one more. And 21.4. So not quite as consistent, I'd say, as some of the other Eurekas. Uh, like the Helios grinders, those have a uh, quite a bit more or quite a bit more consistency in grind weights from shot to shot. But noise-wise, it is pretty quiet. I'd say it's not as quiet as the Atom grinders from Eureka, but it is quieter than a Motzer or specifically like a Super Jolly or a Motzer Mini. It doesn't quite have that shrill, high-pitched ringing sound when you grind which is nice. Uh, I'm not gonna do any um, shots with this grinder on an espresso machine because we're all pretty familiar with this burr set and it produces great quality espresso. You also get all the same features of the rest of the grinders in this kind of family lineup uh, where you can open them up, take out the burrs, clean out your burr chamber, put it back together and not lose your grind settings. That is a really nice feature. And then you can also take off the cover here by just removing your little two screws on the back side. Twist it a little more. So you got a screw there and another one on the other side. Face front. And then obviously a power switch is on the side there like most of these grinders. But that about covers it for the Super Fausto from Rocket Espresso. If you have questions on something I did not cover in this video, drop us a comment down below. I'll try to jump in those comments after the video goes live and answer any questions you have. Uh, if you wanna learn more about this grinder, check out the link in the, pro in the video description to go to the product page uh, and keep an eye out for more content around this grinder, comparing it with some other espresso grinders. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a great rest of the day.